Those tires are pretty bad. He lost brakes. So it's the first time taking the Mustang out on the road. And let me tell you, we've been waiting such a long time for this. It drives great so far, but if you can tell, we got a really bad wobble front left tire. You think it's the front left? Uh, maybe all of them. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're just gonna ignore it for now. Yeah, Let's yeah. keep cruising. How's it running? It, it runs so good. I mean, we haven't put it through the gears yet, but just cruising around here. I can't even hold, uh, I can't hold the camera straight. There we go. So yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It's so, pretty bad. When's the last time it's been on the road? 2007, right? Remember we had this issue in the first video? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I couldn't figure out the math. Big brain. Well, here we are. First Phillip in over, what, 13 years? Yeah, yeah. And of course the tank is dry. It's a brand new tank too, so. Yeah, it's perfect. What are you throwing in? Ooh, what are we going with? What do you think? Well, I would say the expensive stuff for now. Well, since it's on your dime, that's my favorite part. <laughs> then we'll go, Chief. That's right. I thought there was a freaking button inside. Yeah. Never mind. I'm so used to that. I mean, the cap should work. We replaced a lot of it. So we'll see. Go. All right. It's go time. I think we have to pay first. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I think we have Hang to pay second. first. What would you end up putting in it? We put in 91 non ethanol. I think, I think we're going to need that extra oxygen. You think so? You I think, think it's so. going to need yeah. My foot's a little heavy right now, so. <laughs> yeah. It's not on my dime either. Oh. This is great. What's with the temperature? Gosh, freezing yeah, it's out. way too cold out, but oh you know, it's worth it for this. Yeah, sure. yeah, and, and the roads aren't that bad. Being it's no, the first drive, we just have to get it out. Right, we'll wipe it down, but it's, yeah. like, it's really not yeah. that bad. Are we leaking? Oh, I think we are. Really What's the deal? It's not the car, is it? Oh, it's going in it's too quick. It? No, it's going in too quick. Oops. Wow. It took that, right? Yeah, well, right, I don't we'll know go, what's going we'll go on, slower actually. Here. No, it's just stop you know, it. Just give me a favor and stop at 20. Yeah. I'm just not going to pay attention. We'll make sure she gets a nice full turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's okay. Oh my gosh, what's gas at now? Four or what? Four fifteen. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Oh my gosh. How much pressure? We're going to try to put some air in these tires to try to level them out a little bit. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, look how bad they're dry rotted though. Oh yeah. All the cracks. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what though? They're really, really good tires. So, I mean, yeah, I just... think it's safe to drive on for, you know, limited driving we're gonna do. Sure. Put, well, they're, they're actually brand new tires. 13th week of 2006. Okay, uh, I'll take that back. Well, <laughs> you're right though, the great tread is just- The uh, brand new. Just, yeah, exactly. It's, it's just the, the outer, a little. A little old. So we're trying to get the tire. What's the uh, tire pressure? pressure? Let's see. There we go. Maximum pressure is? 51 psi. Okay, 51 pounds. Okay, we won't go that high, but no. All right. What do you think? 40. How much gas did that give us? Ah, uh, let's see. Oh boy. Gas oh, okay. Working? Yes, it is. Here, let me take it. Yeah. What do we got? You can almost actually exactly half a tank. Wow. Just about. Yeah. So you put in how many gallons did you put in? Uh, 4.8. and you put two in, right, with the can. Yeah, but I think we burned that out. So that's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. No, no. Throw some air in the All right, let's go. Actually, they look pretty aired up. They do. I, I don't know if it helps smooth it out. But Missing a cap. Yeah. That's all right. But you can see the tires are actually a really nice shape. Yeah, right, they are. Besides the dry rod. 27 pounds. Oh, we're way low. 27 pounds. That was 20 pounds. 20 pounds? Oh, okay, oh, so yeah. yeah this that is, might contribute to some of that. Oh, the that, wobbling. Yeah. 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 We are at... 21 pounds. Oh, these were all low. Yeah, these are wicked low. I mean, I, I think this might help quite a bit. I mean, what do we say? 51 pounds was the max. We're not even going close to that. No, and I didn't know if that was cold or warm. True. So this is like a guess Right. in between. What's the best thing about the car so far? The heat. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and toasty. It actually has good heat. I can't believe it. Yeah, the Fury, we don't have a heater for, so. No, well. That's okay. That's it. All right. Well, how'd the air help? See, it actually, it definitely made a difference. Yeah. Definitely made a difference. It's still not perfect. It still feels a little hot to it. Way better though. So we might be able to make it somewhere with these and put a good video together. How's the gears going there, right? So just give Sorry, a yeah, a little, they're a little sticky, but I'm sure it hasn't been put through the gears in, what, 13 years, right. 14 years? This isn't going to be a, like a G GTX <laughs> reenactment, is it? With the, uh, I haven't installed yet, so it, we're doing pretty good so, so far. All right. Trust me, that don't hold happen. me to it. Let's see what we got. 
Oh, 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 I got it. She's squirrely. Squirrely. She's squirrely. Squir you see Stork. that? We, the rear end just broke loose at 35. Oh my gosh. They're torquing. 304 pounds of torque. Not bad, but you know what? You just got to gas out. That's it. That's well, these true. tires are pretty bad. All right. Take two. Let's go. <laughs> Cool. We lost brakes. Okay, keep going. Oh, what, 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 what did we lose? We lost brakes. Did we? Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing? Mm, very little. Okay, well. Let's get with this person by. Oh, well, they're there. They're just not there. Kind of. Well, there you go. After what? How many years? That was 13 years. Yeah. We not always... bad. <laughs> we made it down the road. I mean, you saw we broke some... Some rear end action there. I think we Not made bad. what? Look two? at this guy. He's flying by us. Unbelievable. I think we made two miles. That's good. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Stay tuned. The deal is with the brakes, they've all of a sudden got really uh, firm. Yeah. Well, it's it's. It's almost like we lost the booster. They're not power operated. You know what I mean? Yeah. We didn't lose pressure, but we lost. No. Um, are they vacuum assisted? Or they? I don't know how these are. How the booster works. Ooh, they yeah. Are, they're uh, very stiff. Yeah, they are. It's like, yeah, Not you're right. right. Like, like the booster or something's frozen. Right, so it's like you're manually operating them. Yeah. Which is fine. As long as the brakes hold up, you're good. You have brakes. Do we have an emergency brake? Yes. We do have an emergency brake. So if we got to uh, kind of coast to a stop, we, we have that. Yeah, so the brakes seem okay. The, the brakes are there. We didn't lose any pressure. But it looks like you were right. We lost vacuum, I think. Yeah, there's so it's... It feels like there's no uh, assist on it, so it's like manual brakes. Yeah, it's like hitting uh, the brakes are like a rock. Right, you gotta squeeze they work. a little bit. They work. I mean, they work. They work good enough. Yeah, no, they're they're definitely fine for what for what we need them for. We're only doing what thirty. Yeah. And we got the e brake. You can just coast, and there's nobody around, so it's it's definitely in a controlled environment. The uh, the tires are definitely uh, an issue. But, the tires uh, are bad. But it is, I mean, uh, I think we blew some smoke out before too. Clearing we it did, out. oh, it definitely needs to open up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, It's yeah, been a long time. No vacuum. The airbag light's flashing too, I don't know why. That's okay, I wouldn't want that thing going off in my face anyway. No, that's true. Oof. We're heading to our filming location right now. Uh, the tires definitely just got dramatically worse. Yeah, every time we uh, give it a little gas, they're, they're starting yeah. to really wobble. Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, you think it's left rear or right rear? Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was the front, but I, I think he's right about the rears because I'm sitting here now in the passenger seat. And you can feel it. it's pretty bad. Yeah. But we're just taking it easy. We are uh, going to get out of the car on the side of the road here. Brake check. Brake check. We got to see if we uh, can figure out the issue with the brakes. It'd be nice to have brakes. That is a luxury. This is over here. Oh, oh, that's it. Vacuum leak? Yeah, oh, oh let's see. They are behind the entrance. Right there. Yep. You know who put that clamp on? You? Yeah. Uh, Oops. I, I don't know. Does that explain a lot? Yeah. Well. <sighs> These semi skilled mechanics. No, I'm not. That's the problem. I don't claim to be. That's the, that's the thing. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the, uh, the vacuum line. Yeah, so they're it. vacuum operated. Do we have a screwdriver? We don't have any tools. Yeah, yeah. I'd put one in the front seat. Did you really? Yeah. Let's grab it. That's what it is. Oh, boy, you were right on with the vacuum. Well, it felt like we lost power brakes, but we had brakes. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can fix it. On the side of the road, fixes. Nice spot to stop. <sighs> can you see? All it's right. got like when you do all the work, then I can watch. Yeah, but usually, usually I'm not the one doing <laughs> well, some of it, but not, not, not the brains of the operation, I guess, if there is any. It, it's fun to stand by here. We don't have a Phillips head, do we? This air conditioner light. Damn it. Oh, I gotta be careful, I won't break that. I wonder if there's supposed to be a clamp on the end of that line. There is. It's, it's just loose. Like right. these little clamps are good. I like these. Right there. 
No one's like you can tighten like that's, that. That's what it is, actually. Oh, it is that style clamp? You know, I always have my toolbox. Yeah, we probably should have brought it in the, the project car. Forgot. That's all right. Got too comfortable. Yeah, I know. Well, probably shouldn't be bringing it so far away, but that's the way it is. It's all right. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that back there. Yeah, it's tucked behind. It goes from the... Uh, I can't get to it. The booster, oh, right, right behind the intake. Of course, the intake's hot. Well, I can't get to it. The American Shine. I don't want to break it. I don't up. want to break it either. Okay. There we go. I got it. And it's 20 degrees out, so it's a little of chilly. Of course. A little chilly on the hands. At least the engine, you know, it should probably replace this hose. Yeah, it looks a little brittle. It's alright. Spring project. Sure I'm gonna hit. Yep. That guy's freaking ripping. I don't know. I wish he were a meal. Okay. Uh, I think I'm okay. Are we on? Uh, I think so. Let me see. It's hard to tell. Well, I think so. I don't know, I can't see it. I think, hang on a second. I can't see it. Either. You were right though, you, you diagnosed it right though. Wow, look at me go. Making my way up. Not really. All right, we'll get back to you when this is on and see if we have brakes or power brakes. We have brakes. We have brakes? Well, actually, the, the way it's supposed to work anyway. Right, that was it. so now it's nice and easy. Yeah, so that was a kind of a thin tight clamp type thing. Yeah, an unskilled mechanic kind of uh, <laughs> sure. kind of mistake Blunder. there, but that's okay. Mistake, mishap. Sure, yeah, whatever we want to uh, refer to it as. Whatever makes you feel better, that's actually. It. So give us your overall analysis. Uh, how are we looking? So far, perfect. Yeah. I mean, that was the maiden voyage out in the street, and it couldn't have gone better. I mean, we did lose power brakes for a second. So we figured out it was that vacuum line that just slid off. Yep. So we put it back on, tightened the clamp. Now we have power brakes. Uh, tires, not great. They no. hop a lot, and it, they're just old and they need to be replaced. But yeah. that's to be expected. We it's, expected that. It's too bad, though. They're, they're new, but yeah, you're right. They're done. It is. Um, and you can see we didn't collect much salt, so we did good there. Yeah, we were really trying to watch it. But um, we couldn't help ourselves. We so had not, to, oh, what? what we had all? to get behind the wheel yeah. one time before the end of the season. Uh -huh. What was exactly wrong? We never, we wanted to talk about what exactly what the issue with the car was. That's right. We never really went into that after the last video. I'm pretty sure we, uh, what did we leave off with? Uh, we thought it was the computer. Yes, uh, which it was partly the issue. Exactly. And what, we're, what we're doing right now is we wanted to kind of change it up a little bit and bring the car out at night because we want to test the lights and uh, see how real bright everything is. And, yes. Uh, we couldn't do it, obviously, during the day. So, But the issue with the car was, uh, it was the computer. Right. And what the computer did was it loaded the... Uh, Again, it was, it was cylinder two and seven, I believe, that was loading the, uh, pouring too much gas into the engine. The injectors were being held open too much. So what it does is it did, it filled the, up the, uh, pretty much filled up the oil pan with gas. And in our last video, our update video, uh, when you when you pulled the dipstick, mm -hmm. you notice it was yeah, over full. All gas. It was all gas. Smell it. Yeah. No viscosity to the oil, really. It was, it was pretty much just pure gas, honestly. Yeah. So you changed it. Yeah, because of that, I changed it. And uh, while the car was running, the smoke disappeared. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. I did not think that was gonna be the issue. I thought we were going for head gaskets or something a little more extreme, but we uh, we actually got lucky. Yeah, so we're taking, we're trying to put a little bit of mileage on it. We brought it out during the day. And again, we're driving it at night to test a couple other things. And um, yeah, it, it was it was that. 
yeah it's it's great to finally figure that out and now we're out cruising of course at the end of the season but we'll take what we can get right now absolutely um yeah so we're just out here cruising in the mustang at night uh we've noticed the the car likes to heat up pretty hot yeah like it, it did gets, this morning it gets pretty hot if you want me to show them bring it up here the gauge i don't know if you can see that with the wheel there it likes to get hot it's not overheating but it, it sits high up with the, the needle there and we believe it to be accurate <clears throat> yeah it seems to fluctuate as the rpms change so we're just going to bring it out and uh, see if we can get to cool down a little bit and try to figure out what the problem is it'd be nice to figure that out before we put it away for the winter yeah all right, so uh, let's pull on out. Let's go and let this car go by. Yes, does that help the uh, RPM zone or the temperature? It, it did actually, though. It Look drops at that. it. It right? drops it. It's bizarre. Yeah, that's interesting. It must be, might be a water pump. Um, I mean. I guess you could just go in and do a water pump, thermostat. thermostat, and hopefully call it a day. Right, right. That would be ideal. Huh. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to try to figure out what it is and. Uh, oh, we will for sure. Yeah. But and, um, it can't be too complex. No, I I agree. I agree. And we got to be careful. We can't get up to speed. I mean, we're only doing 42. Right, right. We're going to speed limit now. Because uh, we got to watch out with these tires. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, so everything else, but as far as uh, functionality at night, all the lights seem to be working great. Um, all the outside lights seem to be working great. That's what we're trying to test also. Uh, how are we doing temperature now? Uh, we're sitting right below the line. The, okay. uh, you want to show them? Yeah. Careful. Absolutely. We're not going very fast. You can see that line. It jumped down a little bit, and that's because apparently, because when we're getting up in the revs like that, it seems to like it. Well, yeah, could be because the water pump's spinning faster. Oh, that's yeah, that's a good theory. I don't know if you've seen the shifter in action. I've always been talking about how much I like the shifter, so I'll show you it shifting. Ready? Yep. It's good to test those RPMs. We're only doing 45. Yeah, so it shift pretty well. It shifted excellent. Yeah. So definitely with the temperature, we're running into the higher the revs, the uh, the, the temperature drops, the temperature gauge drops. So, what were you gonna say? Well, yeah, yeah. So we're just trying to figure out exactly what's going on and uh, what the relationship is between that. I like your theory there with the water pump turning faster. The higher the revs, yeah, the faster it's turning. It cools the, the engine the, down. Yeah, right. The better the flow. So uh, maybe what we should do is uh, uh, run it through, uh, the, or run it through the gears. Yeah, yeah, just up, you know, not above the speed limit, but we'll just uh, we'll start from scratch and uh, try bringing through the gears a little bit. There you go. So did it drop? It dropped. Wow. Okay. That is. Yeah. So it might be a new water pump, new uh, thermostat. Tire, thermostat. Yeah. Yep. Well, hopefully that solves it, but we'll keep you guys updated. Well, here we are again, back <laughs> at the gas station. Seems to be a, a natural uh, hunting ground for these V8s, but yeah. I'm used to it now, so. Yeah, I think we were here like five hours before. That's right, we were at the beginning of the video. That's right. Long test drive today. We worked out a lot of bugs, though. It was almost 70 miles. Wow. And what are we thinking, 14 miles to the gallon? And about, was, about. But we were running the car. I mean, not crazy, but we were putting it through the gears just to open it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. After it's, sitting so long. Well, the road time is good for it. I think so. And we didn't get much salt. I mean, we're going to wipe it down when we get home. Well, yeah, there's a, just a dusting. It's dusting. It. Nothing crazy. So but we'll wipe it down. It needed the road time. It, it had to. We couldn't leave it sitting any longer. No. And we, we were just, we just had to shift to the gear some before winter. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time.